Ohio State opened the season with a 52-17 victory over Nebraska here at Ohio Stadium. Stephen, what was the most positive thing to come out of today's game? Garrett Wilson. Chris Olave, too, yes, before he went down with an injury. But, yeah, they're going to have to rely on those two guys, as those two freshmen, and Jamison Williams as well, who didn't really play any meaningful snaps last year, kind of catch up to speed. They didn't have a spring, and Ryan Day has talked about how you don't really know what you have in a wide receiver until you can hit, and he has to catch a ball through contact. Jam um, Jackson Smith the Jigba, he learned that the hard way today, coming across the middle and basically had his welcome to Big Ten football. Now he did make up for it later on with the toe-tap touchdown for his first touchdown of his career, but the first two weeks of the season especially, Ohio State's going to have to rely heavily on Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson. 14 of the 21 targets went to those two guys today. They caught all but one, which was the Chris Olave drop in the, touch in the end zone. They were amazing today. If they can do that next week as well, really until these guys catch up, really to get to the Rutgers game, when well, then you can get those guys more involved. But seeing Garrett Wilson in the slot was awesome. Seeing Chris o a third-year Chris Olave trying to redeem himself in the Clemson game was awesome. That's, I mean, if anything from the offense, that's the one thing you don't have to worry about. My most positive thing was Haskell Garrett, and I don't mean this just from like a nostalgic standpoint or a, a sentimental standpoint. Obviously, a guy who suffered a, a gunshot wound just a couple weeks ago, shot in the face. The night it happens, the morning we hear about it, we're thinking, is this guy going to play at all this year? Is this football career over? And he comes back and not only plays today, but had huge plays in this game. At the end of this first half, when Ohio State's only up 17-14, to 14, Nebraska has a ball with a chance to drive down and tie the game or take the lead going into halftime. And he comes through with a sack, first sack of the game. And then is also disruptive on the play right after that, where Ohio State ends up taking Adrian Martinez down for a five-yard loss. Nebraska punts. Um, there's a penalty on the punt return. They're set up in good field position. They go in for a touchdown. It makes it a 10-point game. They score coming out of half, and at that point, it, it's kind of over. And Ohio State needed big plays from its defense at that juncture of the game, and in a big senior moment, frankly, they needed someone with some, some veteran leadership to step up and, and do something, and it fell to Haskell Garrett, a guy who, again, we as recently coming into this week, coming into today, or coming into yesterday, I should, or Friday, when they actually gave the status report, I don't think we were sure that he was going to play, but neither he nor Teron Vincent, who didn't play today I don't believe but showed up on the 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 status report so we knew that they were going to be at least available in some capacity today and he was more than available he was a factor in why Ohio State was able to pull away and win this game I'm Nathan Baird he's Stephen Means come to cleveland.com slash OSU all week for for further coverage of this game and then looking ahead to this Saturday's game at Penn State where uh, a big game in determining who the Big Ten East champion is going to be